Hi there, Bob here from Insidium. On today's Top Tip Tuesday, I'm going to be showing you a couple of different techniques of how we can simulate mixing fluids of different densities. This could be used for having oil floating on top of water, for example. So we're going to be using Nexus, so we will start the clock and let's jump into Cinema 4D and begin. Here we are in our scene then, and we have this lathe object. Here it is in the object manager. It has an XP collider tag on, and we have got some physics in this scene. We've got an NX gravity, just in the default settings, and we've got an NX fluid solver in here. It's set to SPH mode, and we've got seven substeps, and everything else is default. And we've just got this fluid sim of our fluid in our kind of conical container here. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate another two emitters. We've got an emitter blue and we've got an emitter green. And they're all going to emit at different times. Let's just go into the emitter settings so we can see what's going on here. So in the emitter orange, in the emission tab, we've got the mode set to regular emission mode. We have a speed of 300 a radius of five centimeters this is the same in all of our emitters and we've just got them set up just to emit at slightly offset times and they're all pouring into our container now all of these particles are solving as fluids but the fluid solver doesn't care which emitter these particles have come from they're all just considered the same kind of fluid particles and they're all um, interacting with each other but we can change the fluid properties on a per emitter basis to get our different colored liquids to start floating on top of others and we're going to do that with density so this works when we are using nx fluids in the sbh mode which we have set here now what we want to do is give these emitters different fluid um, properties and we do that by uh, selecting them all going to tags extensions insidium tags and we're going to bring in an nx fluids tag for each and in the orange one we are in the sbh tab here we're going to set the orange density to be let's say 200 we're going to set the blue fluid density to be 800 and we're going to set the green density to be 1600 so let's have a look at the effect of that. The particles which have a lower density value should float on the ones that have a higher density. And yes, look, we can see it happening. The orange are floating on the blue. The green came in last and sunk right to the bottom of our container. Excellent. So let's just put a few more frames on this timeline so we can make some adjustments. We'll carry on playing. So now look, if we go to our green emitter and let's go to the tag and make these only have 100 density, look what happens. The green particles are beginning, look, to find their way and float to the surface and eventually they'll join at the surface and we'll have those particles floating on the others if we make that even lighter let's just say density of 10 on those green particles look they really easily get to the top so that's a really cool way of being able to separate liquids you could do things like oil floating on water you could do with milk floating on the top of a coffee you could use this for lots of um, different purposes and that's how we do it in the sph mode we adjust this fluid density value However, if you're wanting to work with PBD, let's go to our NX fluids. We'll change the solver to PBD. This works slightly differently, and it doesn't use um, different density values to sort out this floating of particles. We need to do it in a different way, but it can still work. The way we do it with the PBD is by changing the particle radius. Now, in the SPH mode, the previous one, all particles must have the same radius for the fluid solve to be stable so in our emitters they all have the same radius in pbd fluids particles can have different radius uh, values and the fluid will remain stable so look let's make our emitter green particles let's reduce their radius to three the blue will keep the radius at five and the orange will make the radius seven so now we have different radius values in our particles 
being solved with the PBD fluid solver. And let's have a look. And what you'll see is that the larger particles will float on the smaller particles. And yes, look, we can see it happening. The green ones are the small ones. They're sinking right to the bottom of our flask. Blue in the middle, that's the five centimeter radius particles. And the large particles, the orange ones, they're floating on the top. So that is two different ways of how we can simulate mixed density fluids with our two NX fluid solver settings, either using radius in PBD mode or using fluid density in SPH mode.